I can see you. Open the door. This really isn't easy for me. Can I come in? Why? We said everything. It's done. Please. You want coffee? Thanks. Is that your tree? It'll have to be black. I've got no milk. Last year you had such a gorgeous tree. I'd have decked the halls if I knew you were coming. Want tea or coffee? Whatever. Oh, come on, you must have a preference. My hot chocolate? Purple tea? Peppermint tea? Come on, do me a favour, pick one. All right, tea. All right, tea. There you go. That was an odd, was it? I'm like a support shall I? We're drowning in cake. One with pineapple, one from my mum, one from Australia. It's quite nice, actually, though. How weird is that? Why are you here? Because my head is about to explode. What do you think I've been thinking about all Christmas? Didn't you get the presents you asked for? Like I say, there's no milk. We should... What? There's so much you don't know. I'm sure there is. If you'd at least give me a chance to explain. How can you imagine I'm remotely interested? Please, I need... You need? Yes. I need you to know what happened last year. Oh, here we go. Ghost of Christmas past. Right, you horrible lot. You have now made it to the PM of the first working day of 2012. So, give yourselves a clap. However, not a single fawn has rung, so I have to concede that I've been a little bit overzealous with dragging you in here today. So, off you pop. Go on. Buongiorno. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Ta-ta. Get lost. Happy New Year. It's not me. This bike is... There's nothing wrong with it. How long? Half an hour. <laughs> but to be fair, you know, your mother has given me this perfect bike. And let's face it, I am in much better condition than you. Ah. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. I've got the in-betweeners movie at home. <laughs> really? You know, your grandmother bought me the king's spare, 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 spare speech. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's very un PC of you, Father. Look, could you have really stood one more day? Because I couldn't. Right, she, she made my bed and she checked underneath my mattress while I was in the room. Did she find anything? Of course. Right. Well, she's gone now. Anyway. She won't be here next Christmas. Why not? She's going to be... <whistles> Melbourne. What? Staying with your aunt. What? We need to talk about something. What about your grandma in Melbourne? Kind of.
missed you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, I'm so glad to be back at work. Next time she can stay with her sister, my damn mother. You love her, really? Yeah, but for no more than 48 hours at a time. Right, walk in the countryside, something to eat. No, fresh air, endorphins, glass of wine. Oh, it sounds glorious, but... Um, it's all arranged. I'm sure it is. But you know what I need. You've been offered a great job. With good prospects, good money. So they want you to commit quickly. So what? Why is that an issue? Just tell them yes. And tell me what on earth it's got to do with your grandmother. It's in Melbourne. Oh. Didn't see that one coming. I'm just signed a contract for two years, minimum. Right, okay. Two years. You don't think it's a good idea? Did I say that? You didn't have to. No, just, just a bit quick. It's, it's too quick. What? No. No, you're right, it is. Look, I'm better off staying here. I can go abroad later. You know, there'll be other jobs. Yeah, you're right. Why well, grab every wonderful opportunity that comes along? I mean, much better to fart around here and happen something else comes along later, some other time. Yeah, but what about your book? Like, if that comes off, you're going to need me here for support. Mum will be useless. Mm, not when push comes to shove, she won't. And you... You're going to take the job of a lifetime. It's a good job, right? <laughs> In Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, not Melbourne, Derbyshire. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Luna Park. Christmas in the summertime. Oh, he's come for Christmas. What, to rescue you from your grandmother? Yeah, and to see me. So, I should say yes? You should bite their bloody hands off. Come on, little baby boy. I don't see why we have to go anywhere. I just want to stay in and be rude. Don't make me pick you up and put you in the car. You wouldn't dare. Because I think we both know that I will. <laughs> you know, I have contacts at the National Library in Canberra. It was kind of fancy, Oz. Do it! Call it work. Do your next thing down under. Thing? Thing? Go, <laughs> oh, you're your mother's son and no mistake. Thing? Sorry. 20 years in red brick academia and he calls what I do a thing! Yeah, but look, you could, though, couldn't you? Because, honestly, look, the only thing I'm really going to miss is you. Hey. We should celebrate. Yeah, we should. Tonight? Well, it depends on what time your mum gets in. <sighs> When's that likely to be, then? Late. She's got some kind of work to do. Don't give me that look. You never do anything together. Why aren't you going with her? Because her colleagues bore me today. I know, but we had such a laugh over Christmas, even with Grandma. Yeah, we did. And now it's as if Mum's got this completely separate life. I just don't get it, Dad. Well, don't even try. Just go with the flow. Your mother's work and social life will always be an absolute mystery to me. Thank heavens. Come on, let's go. Emma. Yes, Howard? Now, we've been seeing each other for, for a while now. And it's been lovely. Yes, it has, hasn't it? In fact, it's been more than lovely. Which is why I feel it's time that we moved on to the next level. The next level? Emma, I'm not comfortable wearing my heart on my sleeve. Then don't. Mmm. Isn't this roomy? I've brought you to this beautiful place because I feel we've reached a special time. Really hard. Emma. Yes, hard. Emma. Well, 
been thinking. Your mum is really going to miss you. You do know that, right? She won't even notice I'm gone. Don't be such a turnip. Look, I'll tell you something, Dad, right? If I ever get married, it won't be to a woman who wants to have a completely separate social life to mine and expects applause the one day she turns up to a kid's sports day. I'm sorry. I'm... What your mother and I have is unique and wonderful. And I love her as much as I love you. Yeah, I know. Good. So, are you going to take the easy road home, or are you going to pack in the extra K's and follow your old man back through Faisley? Uh, you, Chris, hoy it as much as you like. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, I'll pop a few beers in the fridge then, shall I? Get them nice and chilled while I'm waiting for you to get back home. Yeah, yeah, you ain't that fast, old man. See ya. This is WPC Sananda Mukta. To whom am I speaking? Yeah, right. I'm sorry, sir, this is an official police call. Who is this, please? Yeah, 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 very funny. Just tell whoever's put you up to this uh, to get lost, OK? Sir, do you know anyone who rides a red bicycle? Yeah. A man who rides a red bicycle. What is this? And who is the cyclist? It's my dad. What's happened? Where is he? And your name, sir? Chris Reed. My dad's Sam. Is he all right? Where is he? There has been an accident. Your father is on his way to St Phil's Hospital. It's in Leatherbridge. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hello. Your call cannot be taken at the moment. So please leave your message after the tone. Hi, Mum. Um, call me back as soon as you get this. It's urgent. Um, I'll try your work. 48-year-old male, cycling, hit by a car. It looked like he was 26 feet. Semi-conscious, hypertensive, respiration laboured. Obs label in transit. Making a move. Emma, you know what I was saying about my feelings for you. Oh, just what the world needs. Big soppy men. Don't take them. I'm not. I love it. I mean it. Anyway, you promised me a walk, endorphins, and wine. Emma. I know, I know. Talk, emotions. But later. Hmm? Across a pub table in front of a crackling fire. Doesn't that sound tempting? Did you put this on silent? You'll get a signal anyway. There's no reception here. Hey, Mum, uh, call me when you get this. It's urgent. I'll try your work. Who network are you with? Shh. Mum, you're not at work. Where are you? OK, I need you to call me, Mum. I am not kidding. Look, why aren't you answering what, your What's mom? happened? Mum, listen. Dad's been in an accident. We're at St Phil's. Please, call me. Is something wrong? There's, uh... There's been an accident. Your mother? An accident? Sam. Who's Sam? My husband. What's happening now? How is he? Your father has an astonishing level of fitness. Yes, I know that. That's because he's always out on his damn bike. Well, it's really going to help him. But how? What do you mean? Look, I want to see him. Well, soon, but he's going to be in surgery for a little while yet. What? But as I say, because of his fitness levels, the surgery itself presents no major concerns. Why is he still in surgery? What are you doing to him? Chris, we're giving your father the, the best odds. I'm a nurse. 
tell me what you really think. Look, it's too soon to make predictions. But as soon as we know more, I won't keep anything from you, OK? Did you manage to get hold of your mother? No. No, not yet. How long till I can see him? I'll come and find you as soon as he gets out of surgery. Your husband? Don't you mean ex-husband? What happened? Man, he's knocked off his bike. Where have you been? Is he all right? No, he's still in surgery. Oh, God. Right. I'm on my way. Mum, I think it's really serious. Do you want to tell me what's going on? I need to go to the hospital. St Phil's. I thought you were divorced. The hospital. Now, hang on a minute. Are you going to take me to the hospital or not? To your husband's bedside. Fine. Then I'll walk. Emma! Emma! I'll go in. Of course you can. But we're keeping him sedated, but he'll know you're there. Is he gonna...? He's a fighter. Come on, Chris, he needs you now. Do you know what? I wouldn't have been surprised if he'd got home before me. He should have got home. He's supposed to be Superman. Did you manage to reach your mother? Come on. Get in the car! No! Get in, I'll take you! You shouldn't have messed with my phone! You shouldn't have lied to me! You wouldn't understand! I thought you were divorced! Leave me alone! Get in the car! Leave me alone! Enough! Get in! <laughs> what is it, some kind of open marriage? Don't tell me you love him, but you're not in love with him. He doesn't understand me. He does understand me. Just how deceitful can you be? I haven't deceived him. He knew I was seeing someone. Seeing someone? You were seeing me! You deceived me! But don't pretend you didn't know! I didn't know! You lied to me! I never lied. It was all a lie. Was it all just fake? Do I mean nothing to you? It's not about you. Put your belt on. Last year. I don't want to be reminded about last year. I couldn't let myself fall in love with you. How could I? Oh, please. What? How do you think I felt when I realised you were going home to another man? You don't understand. And sharing his bed. It wasn't like that. I was such a fool. You were never a fool. It's always about you. You want to hurt me, I understand that. I don't play the martyr, Emma. It doesn't suit you. I'm not. You ran back to your family, your life. You dumped me. It was easy. It wasn't easy. That's why I need you to understand. I do understand. Your husband got knocked off his bike and you stopped pointing it about for a bit. It wasn't like that. Wasn't it? No! And when you wake up, I'll tell you again. And you're going to get all noble and say that I have to go, but I am not going. I'm staying right here with you. Chris. I rang your phone. Sorry. Where were you? I'm here now. Is your phone switched off? What? No, I, I didn't get a signal. Where were you then? My dad thought you were at the office, but no one was at the office. No one answered the phone. Cross examination. Really, Chris? Now? No. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'll get us some coffee. Mum. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. I... I'll get some coffee and we'll sit with him. Why 
are you still here? How's the husband? All right. I'll be off then. I... That's all I needed to know. From now on, things between us stay purely professional. Sam's spinal cord was severed. You said he was fine. More lies. What? When you didn't return to the PCT, I thought you were being professional. I thought you were protecting my feelings. I spent months by his bedside. I wanted to tell you, but I just didn't want to make things worse. I didn't mean... I had a lot of time to think. I thought about what happened between us. Of course I did. He'll never walk. When I think about you, I... I feel guilty. Don. It's funny. I never used to. But now I think about Sam and the accident and... Day. Now I know, and, and I understand. We can be together. No, we can't. Things are different now. Sam needs me. Emma, I won't pressurise you. I, I'll be content with whatever I can have. I, I just wanted you to know the truth. But, but last year, that was the foundation. It, it could still be the foundation for us now. In another world. But now Sam has to be my priority. Whenever he needs me. And he needs you all the time. That day, what I was going to tell you was that I loved you. Sorry, that was Grandma. It's 22 degrees in Melbourne. <laughs> Anything else I can get for you, sir? Where's your mother? She's out. She was going a bit stir-crazy. You going to tell me about her? Do you want me to call her? She'll have her phone on. No, I'm fine. Anything else I can get for you? Got some nuts or some dates? You sure? I said I didn't want anything, Chris. Do you, um... Do you want me to sit with you? my guts. I never hated you. Life still does a crappy deal, hasn't it? We can change that. We should be together. Like I said, in another world. Why not this world? Because I wake up feeling guilty and I go to bed feeling guilty. Sam got what I deserved. And I live with that. We should be together. I had a plan. I'd never been so happy. Stop it. I was even going to get down on one knee for you. Howard, you are not listening to me. We didn't drive those cars. No, but when I got to the hospital, I smelled of you. It's right that I'm punished. What about me? I did nothing wrong. Don't I, can't. I didn't. I wish it wasn't like this. I do. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to understand. I'll go. Try not to hate me. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. There's nothing we can do.
my ex and I, uh, we, we split up ten years ago. I wanted to keep seeing my little girl, but, uh, but she didn't want me to. How did you do that? Sworn to secrecy. He knows what it cost you to do what you did. He knows nothing, and neither do you.